Magandang araw. Welcome sa SDO Bulacan Connect Ed. Upang magatid sa inyo ng iba't ibang basic digital literacy tutorials. Para sa ating unang empowerment series, ang ating tatalakayin ay ang mga iba't ibang digital communications platform tulad ng Facebook Workplace, Zoom, Google Meet, at Microsoft Teams. Merong application si Microsoft na ginagamit for video conferencing, web conferencing, and webinars. Ito ay tinatawag na Microsoft Teams. Para sa episode na to, ito ay tatalakayin ni Ma'am Lillian Barrientos, ang School ICT Coordinator ng Ramona Trillana National High School. Tara, panoorin natin. A pleasant good day to everyone. I am Ma'am Lillian L. Barrientos, the ICT Coordinator of Ramona S. Trillana High School. Okay, for today po, I'm going to discuss to you about the Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is one of the popular digital communication platform today. So let me first define to you what is the Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a collaboration app that helps your team stay organized and have conversation all in one place. With Microsoft Teams, we can collaborate space with our colleagues. It works as a communication center and it provides a secure document storage space. There are different features of the Microsoft Teams. We have number one. It works as a co-author and we can collaborate with others. It can help us to have the virtual meeting spaces. We can share documents and files. And uh, we can call and chat pri privately. We can integrate MS Office application such as the Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and others. And lastly, there is a built-in security with this application. Okay, so after discussing some information about uh, the Microsoft Teams, let me discuss to you about the actual demonstration on creating the Microsoft Teams. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like to remind everyone that you need to create first uh, an account in the Microsoft. Then after creating your account in the Microsoft, you need to install the application in your computer, in your laptop, or even to your gadget para mas accessible siya sa lahat. Okay, even you are uh, outside or you are in traveling to other places, at least you can access your Microsoft Teams. Okay? Mas convenient. Okay. Uh, so, as, as you can see, meron tayo ditong uh, this is the work environment of the Microsoft Teams. So, nakapag-login na ako dito. I use my Microsoft account. Okay. So, I have already done my profile picture. Then, I'm in available status. Okay. Then, I have two organizations which are the Deaf Federation 3 and the Department of Education. Okay. So, for the day, naka-join ako sa organization ng Region 3. Okay. So, let us now discuss the different views that are present in the Microsoft Teams. Okay, these views are located. Okay, so we have different views in the MS Teams. These views are located in the left, in the left side. Okay, so ito po yun. Okay, we have the activity, the chat, the teams, the assignment, the calendar, the calls, and the files. Okay, so let us identify one by one. Okay, so when we say activity, we see mentions, replies, and other notification here. So, yung mga reminder, dito natin nakikita. Okay, so mas madali. Let's, for example, meron tayong na-miss, madali para sa atin na ma, ma, kami naman na oversee tayo. So, at least, eh, with this uh, view, madali para sa atin na ma-remind o makita natin lahat yon. Then, we have the chat. The chat is the view wherein we can check yung mga conversation natin with our colleagues. Okay, so, pwede natin siyang i-view. 
then it is not just simply a chat simple chatting uh, site or chatting view but we can also have the beach call there's an audio call and we can also share our screen okay so hindi lang sa as simple as uh, chat video call or any uh, medium of conversation but we can also share files Ayan. so as you can see meron na ako na share na files dito you just simply click the icon then you choose from one drive or you have you need to upload from your computer okay so once na na select nyo na yung file then automatically it will transfer to the yung kung saan mo siya isinet na chat okay na location okay so ito na yun yung kanina then we have here the teams okay so saan yung teams actually this is only a part of my team so part lang siya actually marami kong sections or different teams under with region 3 okay so example I have here my class grade 12 and grade 12 Genesis, Exodus and Genesis. So for example, for the Genesis or the Exodus rather, okay, I have already given some uh, formative assessments. Okay, so if you want to upload class materials, you can upload that. Okay, you can also upload uh, files. Okay, you can use downloads. Pwede mo siya download That's a example. If the student submit their work, you can simply download it. Then, you can have the class notebook. Okay, the assignments. Then, you can also include or uh, indicate their grades. Ayan. So, very complete. Kompleta na siya. So, files naman pala, uh, pwede rin tayo dito, rin tulad ng sinabi natin kanina, na we can integrate the MS application or Microsoft applications here. Example is, uh, so example, um, we want to create a PowerPoint presentation. Pwede na dito directly. Let's for example, uh, sample one. Ayan. Once we create the file name, ito na siya. So, hindi na natin kailangan pong mag-exit sa Microsoft Teams. So, naka-integrate na siya sa ating application. Okay. So, that's it. Ayan. So, the same as uh, Microsoft Office. So, yan na yun. So, if you want to save, automatically it will save. Ayan. Andiyan na yan. Ayan. Then, Okay, so how are we going to create a team using my MS Team? Okay, so if you're going to create the team, you simply click this option. Then, uh, there are different type of team. Example is for the class. Then we have the professional learning community. We have the staff and others. So, if you have your own uh uh, class or section you can choose this one okay then so for example the name of your section is tbl 12 and okay so then and so we're now creating our team okay so you can now add people in your section on or in your team okay let's for example uh kind of tayo ng ni kwariana or an okay let's for example lang so pwede mo siya i-add ayan so or pwede i-skip mo na since wala pa naman sila pwede natin siya i-skip then yung students yung pwede natin i-add pwede rin tayo mag-add ng mga teachers okay so, since wala pa tayo mga invited na student or teachers, pwede natin siyang i-skip. Then, saka na lang natin siya i-add. Okay. 
So, for example naman, if you want to join the team, make sure that you have the code for a specific team. Okay. So, let's say for example, may 330. Okay. 300. So, kung may nag-exist na ganyan, automatically, kailangan mo ng approval from that team. Pero, since walang nag-exist na ganun, just simply exit. Then, meron ako isang additional na team dito, which is the Microsoft Learner. Pwede kumagas ng sumali dun sa team nila. And, okay, the assignment. Okay. You need to choose the class na bibigyan natin ng assignment. That's for example, is for the section genesis. Okay, then next. Then, so, ibig sabihin, kung ano lang yung sinelect natin, yun lang yung bibigyan natin ng assignment. Then, yan. So, for example, you want to create an assignment or quiz, pwede. Okay. So, directly, we can create the assignment using forms. Ayan. So, these are sample forms that I have created before. So, pwede natin siyang integrate dyan. Ayan. Next, we have the calendar. Okay, what is the use of the calendar? The calendar is used for creating uh, new meetings. Okay, if you want to meet up, uh, if you want to schedule... Okay, it's very useful, especially pagka uh, malalayang lugar. We can use the calendars or this one for video conferencing. Mas madali. Okay, let's for example, we schedule April uh, 13. Okay, April 13 at uh, 1 p.m. Okay, at 1 p.m. Okay, so pwede yun tayo maglagay sa Let's for example, uh, we have the meeting for uh, meeting the subject pare, paper here about quality the Hollywood celebration. send. Let's for example, you send or you close. So, since hindi ka to, ito na natin to, kasi baka na-send sa kanya. So, we save. Ayan. So, once na, ano, meron na siya. Ayan. So, naka lock na yon. So, ibig sabihin, uh, in this time, meron tayong reminder na on April 13, meron na tayong meeting. Ayan. So, pwede tayo mag-meet na. Then, protocols. So, calls naman, we can search for the contacts. Pwede natin sila i-add yung contacts. Okay, add natin muna. Let's say, for example, si Juan de la Cruz. So, meron ba tayo? Let's say, for example, si Sir. Then, we add. Pwede natin i-add. Okay, pwede rin natin siya. Okay, delete. Yes. Pwede natin siyang i-call. Then, about the files. Lahat ng files na shared, lahat ng files na in-upload, you can locate it here. Okay. Pwede natin siyang i-download. Yan. Lahat ng mga files, this is a secured files na, I mean, alam naman natin kung sino lang yung pwede ma-access dito. Siyempre, yung mga friends lang natin at kayo mismo. Siyempre. Okay. So, ito lang, ganito lang kasimple gamitin yung Microsoft Teams. Wherein, uh, napaka-useful niya. Marami siyang mga tools, mga applications na very useful, especially sa ating mga guro. Okay, so hopefully na, hope, I'm hoping na natuto po kayo sa maikling tutorial na ginawa ko ngayon. Uh, that's all and thank you. God bless.
maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsubaybay ng SDO Bulacan Connect Ed. Ako po si Katrin Janel Ople, ang School ICT Coordinator na Nalumboy National High School at ang inyo pong host. Magkita-kita po tayo muli sa susunod na episode. Maraming salamat po. Have a blessed day. Laging tandaan ang hashtag Stay Connected. Maraming salamat.